The Phase 14 Main Spar Carry Through Inspection for the 550, S550, 550 Bravo, and 560 can sometimes be a difficult procedure due to problematic bolt removal. If incorrect procedures are used, extensive damage can be inflicted on not only the inner bolt diameter, but also the forward and aft frames, sandwiching the carry through spar assembly. Sometimes the bolts are corroded or galled inside the holes. If the threaded end of the bolt is impacted repeatedly, it can swell the bolt threads. Once the bolt is finally freed, these larger diameter bolt threads will be forced through the bolt hole, severely gouging it. This damage will require a structural repair and will delay the bolt hole eddy current inspection. There have even been a few instances where the damaged bolt was seized in the hole so tight it could not be removed by conventional methods. These customers had to bring in a specialist to set up a secure drilling fixture so the bolt could be drilled straight and slowly reamed out. In accordance with Chapter 5 of the Maintenance Manual, perform item code A531017 by following the procedures listed in the applicable NDT Manual Part 6 Eddy Current 53-10-02 Main Spar Carry Through Assembly Inspection. Note, the aircraft does not require special shoring or jacking to perform this inspection. If the bolts do not remove freely, perform these procedures. Try turning the bolt to free it. Use a wood block between the bolt and a hammer or a rivet gun. This will prevent the bolt swelling mentioned earlier. Mouse milk, PB blaster, or similar penetrating oil can sometimes be useful. In extreme cases, both sides of the bolt can be cold soaked with liquid nitrogen and the surrounding material slowly heated not to exceed 200 degrees Fahrenheit or to the point the primer is discolored. Another option is to carefully drill the center of the bolt large enough to accept a punch. Insert the punch into the bolt and strike it with a hammer or a powerful rivet gun. This will allow a more direct blow without swelling the bolt diameter. Once the bolts are removed, inspect the holes for any gouges and corrosion. The holes must be smooth and round for the bolt hole eddy current inspection. If the holes are damaged, a certified engineering structural repair will be required to ream out the holes to an oversized condition and install oversized bolts. These original bolt holes have a nominal diameter of 0.4992 to 0.5007 inches max tolerance. For any structural questions or concerns, please contact Team Structures at 316-517-6061 or email to csstructures at txtav.com. Thank you.